In the technology industry, there's a saying that developments are often overestimated in the short term, but underestimated in the long term. One technology that that could be proving true for at this year's Consumer Electronics Show is virtual reality. Startups such as Oculus and big companies such as Sony are betting that people will be donning headsets and disappearing to immersive new worlds in a way that was first promised in the 1990s, but never really caught on. Now the technology is catching up, graphics are improving, motion blur is reducing. I spoke to the creators of Oculus Rift to find out more. So the Oculus Rift is a new virtual reality headset designed really for immersive gaming. And it lets the user, lets the player, step into a virtual world and get this incredible sense of presence, feel like they're actually there. So VR, yeah. you know, the concept has been around for a long time. We were just talking about the VR resurgence. Is this a renaissance? VR has kind of come and gone. But behind the scenes, the technology really has been getting a lot better. But really, if you think about VR, it really is the holy grail in terms of experiences. You can go anywhere, do anything, have an experience that would otherwise be incredibly dangerous or perhaps impossible due to budget constraints or something like that, and do it from you know your chair or your bed or your couch or wherever it is. And VR as a medium, really, it's not about gaming, just gaming. It's really a platform for all sorts of new types of interactive entertainment, education, all sorts of things. In my demonstration of the Oculus, I found it incredibly realistic. There are no boundaries that you hit up against when you move your head around, and you can lean right in and see the details of the little characters that are moving around the floor. No date has been set for its release, but Oculus, despite its small size, seems to be putting to good use the $75 million in venture funding it raised last year, and the seasickness that's been a feature of some of these earlier prototypes is starting to be solved. Las Vegas can often feel like an unreal place, so perhaps it's appropriate that this is the venue where a company is trying to show off a new kind of virtual reality. This is Tim Bradshaw for the Financial Times in Las Vegas. Overall picture of what's going on in the keep missing those guys, but yeah.